the first time and I would say a few years, I actually feel like I have control over my acne. Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing an updated skincare routine that has really really helped my hormonal acne. You probably hear Jackson's footsteps in the background. As soon as I start the video, he wants to go outside. Hang on just a second. <laughs> Watch my videos before, you may know that I do have PCOS, which is a hormonal imbalance, and one of the symptoms is acne, especially in this area. I talked a lot more about it in a previous video, so I will link that here. Interesting to know that one in 10 women actually have PCOS, so it's a lot more common than we think. It has been a huge struggle to find something, especially skincare, that works for my skin and actually actually helps control my acne. It has been something that has really challenged my self-esteem. I am so glad that I have come to a place emotionally and confidence-wise that I was able to push past that and that I have found products that actually work. I wanted to share the products that have been working for me in the hopes that maybe they would help any of you because I know I watched so many of these videos and would like literally buy everything that anyone would recommend. I finally found the products that actually work and the good news is they are super cheap. They're not like the super expensive elite brands. They're just everyday drugstore things that you can get off Amazon or you can get from Target. I'm not a skincare expert so I can't say that these products will work for everyone. I'm just sharing that they worked for me. I'll show you my before picture and this was back in July. I had acne along my chin line and that would happen literally, it felt like every other week. There would be some weeks Weeks where it was good and then another week where it was bad. My cycles are already irregular so it was really no way of predicting when I was gonna get a breakout and it just sucked. <laughs> Fast forward to a few months later, this is a recent picture from October after using these new products. I'm happy and excited to say I have no makeup on my skin. So I do have eye makeup on, like eyebrows, mascara, some eyeliner, lipstick on, but other than that, I have no powder, nothing on my face. So literally this is just how my skin looks after doing my skincare routine, which I am going to share with you now. Start by cleansing my face. So I just get a little bit of warm water on my skin and then I cleanse with this African Black Soap by Shea Moisture. This is my favorite and I think this is the product that has actually truly made a difference. I read an article on BuzzFeed about it. I will leave that linked below but I got it from Amazon or you can get it from Target. It's super cheap and it's a huge bar so it lasts forever. I use this obviously on my face but I also use it on my chest and on my back in the shower. It is incredible. It leaves your skin feeling so clean, but not dry. So it really moisturizes too. I bring it all the way down my neck and I cleanse for about a minute before I rinse it off and wipe my face off with a clean washcloth. The toner that I'm using is by Thayer's. It's a witch hazel aloe vera with lavender toner and I love it because it's alcohol free. So again, we're not over drying the skin, but we're cleansing and purifying and lavender is very calming for the skin. So it calms any redness and I just put that on a clean organic cotton ball and get all of the areas of my skin with that toner. Every few days I like to exfoliate, so I'll use a skin scrub like this one from Botanics, or I may use an acne spot treatment or the exfoliator by this brand Raw Skin Suticles. I ordered some samples from them and I'm really, really liking them. So I may order the products once I'm done. I'll leave that linked as well. Or I may do a mask, like a clay mask, if I really feel like there's a lot of gunk in my skin, like this Aztec Secret Mask. After toning, I go in with my 
serum, which is this vitamin C serum, and my moisturizer. So this is the moisturizer I use during the day by The Body Shop. It's a tea tree mattifying lotion. Then I use something that's even more moisturizing at night by the brand Alba Botanica. It is a Hawaiian moisture cream. So I just take my moisturizer, I mix it with a couple drops of my vitamin C serum, and I rub that all over my skin. Now the vitamin C serum is really, really helping with old red acne spots because it is brightening for the skin. I really massage the moisturizer into my skin to make sure it's nice and absorbed. And at this point, my skincare routine is done and I'm ready to do my makeup. So all the products that I mentioned are linked below in the description. I do incorporate a lot of lifestyle habits, supplements, different things that I do also for my acne. So let me know if you want a more in-depth video about lifestyle diet tips that have really helped my hormones. Give this video a like and comment down below if you're interested in that. You may have noticed that I haven't been posting weekly and that's because I've been really focused on my health coaching program called Well by George. Jordan Waddell. I created a Facebook page, updated my Instagram page, and my blog with information about that. I'm having a lot of fun working with clients doing that, and I've got some exciting projects in the future that I can't wait to share with you guys. If you aren't already, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I've been trying to post to my stories, like little mini vlogs and things that I'm eating. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you have Instagram. It's at well by Jordan Waddell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for another one.